Today we're finding out if it's possible to get 50 creatures on the battlefield and win with Halo Vow in its Streets of New Capetta standard. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition, our first Streets of New Capetta edition of Against the Odds. And this week, we are trying to get 15 creatures on the battlefield, and win with Halo Fountain. So how in the world can we possibly pull this off in standard? Let's talk about our deck. Jump into some games and find out. So we're building our own Halo Fountain. Three man artifact can pay a mana, tap it, untap a creature to make a one one. We can pay two mana and untap two creatures to draw a card. But the big deal is we can pay five white mana, tap it, untap 15 creatures and win the game. So obviously winning the game with Halo Fountain, not easy. It requires getting 15 creatures at least on the battlefield. So how are we going to do this in standard? And the answer is treasure tokens of all things. So our main plan is bootlegger stash. It lets us tap our lands to make a treasure. And then we have stimulus package that lets us sack a treasure to make a one, one citizen. So essentially if we get both of those, our lands just tap to make a citizen token. There's an extra step in there, but that's how we get up to 15 creatures. We can over the course of a couple turns, make 15 or 20 treasures by tapping our lands, turn them all into creatures. And then we just go to combat attack. So all of our creatures are tapped and then untap with them with halo fountain to win the game. Of course we want a way to tap our creatures without attacking as well, just in case there's a reason not to do that. So we got a couple of vehicles, a Zika here at Reckoner Bank Buster. Their primary purpose is just to tap our creatures without forcing us to attack. Worst mentioning with these cards, in case you ever try to pick up this deck, uh, like Azika's Chariot says crew four, or Reckoner Bank Buster says crew three. What that actually means is you gotta tap at least that power worth of creatures. So we can crew in Ezekiel's Chariot and tap 15 one ones if we want to and get our entire board tapped. These cards are especially important in the early game though. Uh, once we get 15 creatures, we don't really need the vehicles to tap our creatures to win because we can do that combat trick. However, in the early game, it's really nice to be able to tap a couple creatures to untap them to Halo Fountain to draw a card or to make tokens or whatever. We also got a backup land in Devilish Valet. Devilish Valet kind of cares about the same thing as Halo Fountain, a bunch of creatures coming into play. It's a three mana, one, three trample haste. But when a creature comes into play, another creature, we get to double its power. So what we can do here is make a bunch of treasures with bootleggers stash, play a stimulus package, Devilish Valet, sack all of those treasures. And all of a sudden our Devilish Valet is hitting for 20 damage, 40 damage, a few thousand damage to close off the game. So it's just a one-off because our Mangle's winning with Halo Fountain, but that is a way we can potentially win with the deck. We also got a bunch of other treasure synergies. Gallagher Eaters, Prosperous and Keter per Rampus in the early game. Professional Face Breaker lets us turn treasures into cards to find our Halo Fountain to close out the game. Big score, more filtering. Removal, we got Fave Labs in Skyclave Apparition, a bit more in our mana base with Scatter Skull Smashing. Sideboard, a bunch of stuff for control, protecting our creatures, slowing down Raz, a bunch of removal for aggro, and that is Halo Fountain for Standard. That's our Gets Odds deck for this week, so is this gonna work? I don't know. So let's jump into some games and find out. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. You can pick up all the Magic the Gathering cards you need and support the show and even get a free MTG Goldfish sticker by heading over to cardkingdom.com slash MTG Goldfish. Uh, yes, that's time. We are trying to get the Halo Fountain win in New Standard. And uh, I mean, this hand's okay. The vehicles are, they're important with our Halo Fountains if we can uh, get to that point of the game. See what our opponent's up to. Green. Jaspera Sentinel. Well, land on white and Reckoner Bank Buster. Go. Opponent. Elves. Interesting. Well, I guess we're going to need to hit a sweeper at some point in the not super distant future. Oh, we got a bunch of land. So let's just play Sundown Pass and draw with Bank Buster, I guess. Next turn, we can smashing something. Gets and hits us. Yeah. Down to 16. It's pretty good. Brazen Upstart. Well, we'll draw a card. Prosperous Innkeeper. That opponent gets a free elf. Now play the land. Azika's Chariot. Pass the turn. Gonna have to find our our sweeper. Gonna have to find the sweeper. I don't think there's any any other way around it. About it. Uh, attacks. I think we gotta block. 
So kill the upstar. Opponent gets to dig for a creature. Ugh, more war masters. Yeah. A lot of elves. That's a lot of elves. And strangles the cat. Play Gallagreeter. Land on green. Play Innkeeper. Oh, what? Dragonfire? All right, that's that's very bad. I think we're dying. Dragonfire in the elf deck. Bone it, land. Well, we gotta draw burn down the house, and we gotta draw it soon, because this is a two mana, one mana away with a sentinel from pumping, and then we die. Opponent has Gallagreeters. Well, burn down the house, burn down the house. We need to burn down the house, and we need to burn down the house basically now. Gallagreeters goes fully off, thanks to these War Masters. Pretty good. We only have one sweeper in the main deck, unfortunately. Opponent gets in with everything. Well, I mean, we're gonna draw a card. We're gonna take infinite damage, stimulus package. No blocks. Down to eight. No, they're brazen upstart. Professional face breaker. So we're dead, right? We can spend all of our mana to kill the war masters, but then we still just get attacked. All right, we can, all right, draw with, draw with bank buster. I think we're just dead though. We draw a chariot. Yeah, all right, on to game two. Well, the good news is there is good news, which is we have more burn down the houses in our sideboard. So we can bring in a bit more removal because I think really uh, we just gotta, we gotta be able to kill our opponent's stuff. That is the, T-L-D-R. If we can kill their stuff, we'll see. They didn't see any of our combo pieces. Literally none of that. So they probably won't overload on Artifact Hate. And it isn't a matchup that has Esper removal, so eh, maybe, maybe there's hope. But I think it all starts and ends with us having a sweeper. All right, I mean, we got a bunch of removal. We don't have a sweeper. We do have our bootlegger stash, which turns on a bunch of possibilities if we can get to it. And I do like that we have some really game removal. Well, play Jetmare's Garden. Go. Yeah. We can Volt Surge of War Master, which is big. And we can also Volt Surge of Magda. This is a weird deck. It's elves with random non-elf stuff. Another bootlegger stash. Well, we will play Smashing. Opponent. Land. Could this be the time? Brazen upstart. You know what? Let's just kill that. We just want to minimize the amount of damage we take to buy us time to hopefully go off with our bootlegger stash. There's a war master. There's a halo fountain. Well, all right. So we pass the turn. Well, hopefully they don't have answers to the bootlegger stash. About it. War master. And. Double War Master. Well, we'll discard, discard the stash. Found it. Yeah, going off. Well, Gallagreeters. Skyclave. Make a treasure. Get rid of the War Master. Pass the turn. Jenny Faye. Kind of spicy. Opponent gets in with the cat. Well, can we find one of our sweepers? That's what we need. That's what we want. And we need it pretty soon. Opponent passes. Big score. Well, stimulus package. Sack a treasure. Get a token. Make a treasure. Pass the turn. Okay. Oh, but opponent's getting to the pump stage of the game, which is not great. Opponent land. Fleetfoot dancer. That's an elf? That is an elf, all right. Hasty cat. Gets in, gets in, gets in. Well, we will sack a treasure. Make a token. Make back a treasure. I guess double block cats. Wow, this War Master can ultimate, though. All right, we drop to 12. 
Just bear a sentinel. Opponent passes. It's a land. I mean, we gotta find a removal, right? If we don't find a removal, we just lose right now. So we bootleg your stash and make tokens, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Elves get plus two, plus two, death touch. Well, I guess they don't get trample. All right, well, play the land. Do we live? Bootleg your stash. Sack a treasure, get back the treasure. All right, pass the turn. I mean, if we get to untap and keep making tokens, maybe? All right, gonna go after the Gallagreeter. So we need to get the free token now. So make a treasure. Then we probably should also gain two life before Gallagreeters goes away. Gain two life. But it only has one card in hand. It's a Jaspera Sentinel. I mean, if we hit a sweeper, I think we can get the combo kill. If we don't hit a sweeper, I'm not sure how this ends. Opponent, big attack. Well, we will make a token. We will block and put four in front of the Fleetfoot Dancer. Take two. We drop to 12. Opponent gets back an illusion. Okay, well now drawing lands is fine too. Volt Surge, ooh. Okay, okay. Kill the War Master. Maybe, there might be hope. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. Gallagreeters, opponent, no attack. So well, this is fine. So we get to make a bunch of treasures. We don't need to sack them yet. We can sack them in the future. Untap. Land. Pass the turn. Just Paris Sentinel. So they get to make hasty things. They don't know about the Halo Fountain. There's a chance. I mean, if we draw Burn Down the House, we're going to be able to combo. We might be able to do it even without. All right, so opponent's going to make a hasty cat, I assume. Oh, a <laughs> tapped hasty cat. <laughs> I forgot. It still keeps the it still keeps the drawback. Opponent's going to get in with the cats. Maybe, yeah, all right, well, treasure, 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 treasure. You know, we're just gonna take it. We're gonna take it down to eight. Untap, another stash. One, two, three, four. Big score. Discard the bootlegger stash. Wait, do we win? Do we get the backup win? Do we get the devilish valet kill? I think we do. I mean, we're gonna go for it. I haven't counted. So two, four. Oh yeah, we definitely, we definitely get it. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Okay. Devilish valet. Sag all of our treasures. Oh my goodness, we did it. Well, this was a Halo Fountain, but we would have won with Halo Fountain if we had an extra turn or two, but we're gonna win with the biggest Devilish Valet of all time. How big does it get? 16 power. Yes, 32 power, 64 power. <laughs> yes, 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 okay. Oh, we're gonna, are we gonna get in the thousands? I mean, we're sagging them all. It's too funny not to. If our opponent scoops, then all right, but we gotta, I mean, who doesn't want to see the biggest devilish valet of all time? Our one of backup chank em out plan is coming through and that is a, yeah, that is a, a 4,000 power devilish valet. Uh, all right, opponent, we will attack. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that was, that was good. That was good. That was not quite Halo Fountain, but that was good. Oh, well now our opponent knows about our artifacts and enchantments, which is probably bad. They might actually, they might actually have removal, but that was a sweet kill. I think the, the awkward thing there is, I think we could have won with Halo Fountain if we had wanted to. Oh my God, we're keeping this. We actually have our burn down the houses, two of them. Well, as long as we hit our lands, which it looks like we might. 
Uh, two burn down the houses should be pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. The question's gonna be, do we have to run out this innkeeper? Then it gets in, hits us. Land on white. Innkeeper. Get a treasure. Land for our opponent, gets it. No blocks. Down to 60. Well, play the land. Get in with the innkeeper. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Gets in, hits us. Down to 13. Ooh, Moonvale Regent. Now, well, let's big score. We're gonna actually discard the valet, I think. Well, there's Bootlegger Stash. Untap. Land on red. Yeah, we might as well get in. Maybe our opponent is scared of something? Yeah. Our deck is weird. Weird enough that our opponent's not blocking. Uh, five damage to everything. Lair of the Hydra. Well, uh, land on green. Bootleg your stash, go. No, no, oh, all right, besage you. All right, that does slow us down. We'll find another one, we'll find another one. Take a triome. Pretty easy to be able to snag triomes with a... What are we discarding? Probably the triome, right? Actually, okay, let's big score. Discard smashing. One has two cards. All right, let's play smashing tap, pass the turn. Land for our opponent. I mean, we will kill this Lair of the Hydra. Yep. Uh, attacks. Well, we will Fateful Absence. Get rid of it. Well, all right. Azika's Chariot, not the spiciest card, but it is is—it is a good card. Pass the turn. Could use our treasure stuff, though. That's what we really want. Opponent. War Master. And another War Master. And a land. You know what? Let's cycle this. Oh, there's the there's the bootlegger stash. And a skyclave. This is super interesting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our opponent can pump. We don't have anything to go with the stash yet. Oh, as awkward as this is, I think we just have to Yeah. Burn down the house. Opponent gets a draw card. Sure. Well, all right, War Master's down. Pass the turn. Come on, Stimulus Package. Opponent, Gallag Readers, and nothing. Bootlegger Stash. Start the fun. Halo Fountain Stimulus Package. Those are the cards we need. Ginny Fay. That's actually pretty good for our opponent here. You're gonna be able to make a hasty token. Oh, it's gonna be tapped though. <laughs> That's right, I keep forgetting that. Okay, sure. Grows Gallag Readers. Well, we will make a treasure. Opponent hits us down to 11. We draw land. Well, play Gallag Readers. Play Skyclave Apparition. Put a counter on Gallag Readers. Get rid of Ginny Fay. Play the land. You know what, I think we just pass. Let's just pass and make treasures. We're so close. Opponent. Moonville region. okay, good card. Gross. That's a risky attack. All right, so we will make a treasure. Make a treasure, come on deck. Come on deck, we're like one draw away. Treasure. Untap. Well, Gallag readers. Put a counter on Gallag Readers. No attacks. Another Gallag Readers. Opponent gets to draw a card. Oh, come on, deck. Show us that stimulus package. Or a professional face breaker. Opponent, Kaba. Attacks. Well, we need to Ejano. Get rid of the Moonbell Regent. They're gonna ping down a Gallag Readers, I assume. Well, let's make some treasures. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Wow, stimulus pack should be so good. Oh, <gasps> okay. Okay, professional face breaker. That's a huge draw. That's a huge draw. Make a tap treasure. Okay, 
Sack it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's find our goodies. Land, which we'll play. Sack a treasure. Oh, this is this is professional face breakers. Time to shine. Another bootlegger stash. Don't really need it. Sack. There's the stimulus package. And oh! that might be that might be as good as it gets. That might be that might be the pinnacle. We would have gotten it a million percent. Like with face breaker and stash and stimulus package we can just we're gonna we're gonna find the halo valve there's no way we don't find it unfortunately i guess our board is scary enough that our opponent our opponent just scooped it up beforehand but we would have undoubtedly without any question have won with halo found there we don't even have the devilish valet in our deck so we don't got to worry about the accidental you know four thousand power devilish valet kill but Oh, I really wanted to see it go on the stack. We would have done it in like uh, the next couple of turns for sure. Cause I mean, we just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have like 10 lands. So that's draw 10 each turn. There's only 30 cards in our deck. So there's no way we're not gonna find it. There's no way we're gonna die when we can make 10 one ones each turn with stimulus package. So we are like a million percent to get it, but uh, opponent scooped it up. Well, we'll see, we'll see. That might be as good as it gets, but uh, maybe we'll actually see it go on the stack against the odds time. New standard is here. Streets of New Cabana, and we're taking the Halo Fountain Challenge. Well, I mean, we ain't got no fountain, but we got a lot of good cards in this hand. Hopefully we hit a, a land or two. Je Mirror's Garden, yeah, about it. Probably smacking us with is it stuff, I assume. Snow Covered Island, most likely is it? Could be a brew. All right, well. This on, um, yeah, I guess green doesn't really matter. With double, with double uh, triome, our man is gonna be pretty fine either way. All right, all right, so blue white control maybe. Oh, Rafine, spicy. Spice is spicy, I like it. Well, all right, Jetmere's Garden, Bank Buster, no attacks. We do need to hit another land opponent land and gets in hits us gets to do some conniving with ravine quaza all right down to 18. well prosperous innkeeper make a treasure make a treasure cash in a treasure to draw a card to see if we can hit a land drop survey says no. <laughs> All right, pass the turn. We're not gonna get in for one. I don't think it's worth the heartache. All right, kills the Gallag Reader. Untaps. Land. So bonus is like a straight up connive deck. Connives, discards Path Apparel. I feel like Esper Knife could be really good. It's got the removal, it's got the creatures, it's got a mechanic that makes it very consistent. When you add all that together, it feels to me like a deck that should be pretty powerful. I don't know about the Kraken. But it hits us for a bunch. Well, we do draw land finally, so play the land. I mean, we got a, we got a Skyclave. To get rid of Rafine, we gotta pay the one. Well, that problems dealt with for now. Uh, pass the turn. A better to taps. Land. All right, well, if our opponent's gonna kill something, we'd rather have them kill the Skyclave than our bootlegger stash. Opponent gets in for four. No blocks. Passes. Okay, we hit a land, so play the land on white. Stimulus package. Oh, that's so brutal. Oh, that's, that might kill us. Yeah, that's, that's real bad. That's real, real bad. All right. Well, uh, yeah, past the turn. I'm not sure that we remain alive here. About it. Yeah, we really needed the tokens. Oh, we were so close to. Interceptor is a really good card. About it. Opponent's got a new hand under this, this, uh, Tolas too. Well, it's cool to see a new deck. Disappointing that the new deck is beating us, but it is sweet to see. All right, we're going to one. I mean, if we resolve the stimulus package, we still have some shot. 
All right, opponent's going to draw six Magic the Gathering cards. Well, now we probably have less of a shot. Opponent plays a land. Well, okay, Bank Buster. Draws us a card. We untap. We play the land. We play Stimulus Package. We make tokens. Bank Buster. Pass the turn. Well, we're gonna see. Opponent plays a land. Reservoir Kraken. Okay. Sure. No reason to tap anything. No. See if our opponent attacks. All right, so we get to sack a treasure. Mega token gain a life. Opponent might be realizing what stimulus package does. What do they have under this? Larcenist. Path of Peril. We might have to not kill Tolas yet. Yeah, let's not kill it. So we will block, block, block. I'm worried about our opponent getting back this Larcenist. Especially before we get down our bootlegger stash. All right, so we're back up to four. Opponent's deck looks sweet. I don't know about Reservoir Kraken, but otherwise it looks, oh, it has Trample too. All right, wedding announcement. Opponent draws a card. All right, untap. Halo Fountain. Well, Prosperous Innkeeper. Make a treasure gain some life. Prosperous Innkeeper. Treasure life. Big score. Discard a Halo Fountain. No sacrifice. All right, pass the turn. No attacks. All right, all right, all right. So we get to make tokens, and those tokens are gaining us a lot of life. Opponent land. Also gonna be super close. Kraken. All right, so we need to sack a treasure, make a token. Gain some life. All right, tap it down. What an interesting game this turned out to be. Opponent goes to combat. I'll make a token. Gain some life. Block. Still don't really want to kill it. Okay. Cycles. Gets a token. All right, so we untap. We draw land. Now let's play Halo Fountain. Play the land on white. Let's just pass. This game's ridiculous. We're running out of treasure production, which is awkward. What a crazy game. With Halo Fountain down though, we can use Reservoir Kraken against itself. No attacks. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. Discards. This Tauros is going off. Oh my God, is this Rafine coming back? All right, that's, a, that's an issue. That's an issue. Opponent plays a land. Plays the Rafine. Okay, so we will tap. Goes to combat. Gets in. Gonna grow the fish. Triple loots. So we're actually doing things with Halo Fountain, which is sweet. Now we get to untap. Make a token, gain some life. All right, opponent's gonna kill the Halo Fountain. Boy, just has so much interaction. These Esper decks just have removal for days. Yeah. Well, we'll block a 1-1. One, one. We'll block here. The problem is I don't think we can resolve our bootlegger stash against this deck. And now there's this huge unblockable fish. Yeah, winning announcement. Grows everything. All right, Halo Fountain. Oh, all right. Opponent's gonna counter the Skyclave then. That's what we need to not happen. Oh, okay. Or not. I mean, I guess we gotta get rid of the Torals. Tulas? The train conductor thing. I mean, it's got eight cards under it, which is absurd. They have a way to sack it. All right, well, that's helpful. We gain some life. We pass the turn. But how do we beat the fishes and the Rafines? Opponent's drawn essentially their entire deck. That's so absurd. Opponent cycles. So, I mean, I guess 
We're on the mill em out plan? These unblockable fishes are an issue. We just cannot really deal with them at the moment. Well, we will tap an innkeeper. Opponent gets more unblockable fishes, which is not great. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Does some conniving. Grows the other fish. Discard some stuff. Well, okay. We take a billion. Even with three innkeepers, we just... We're not gaining enough life to stay in this. These are unblockable. They're unblockable. Well, sweet to see Rafine go off. Path of Peril. That's interesting. Was not actually expecting Path of Peril. Uh, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we'll just... We'll just make a 1-1 one -one to gain some life, even though it's gonna die. So we go back up to 10. I mean, if by some miracle we resolve bootlegger stash, things are good. Well, there goes our life gain. Opponent passes. I'll play a land. Bootlegger stash. Please don't counter it. <laughs> All right, opponent has the counter. Yeah, that is the problem with bootlegger's dash, is it is very counterable. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that does it, unfortunately. Bootlegger's dash is, like, so absurd, but there's a lot of counter spell decks, apparently, in our current standard. Not the easiest card to get on the battlefield against, against decks with a ton of counters. Another wedding announcement. Make a token. Brew Bank Buster. Untap our creatures to draw a card. And then we will tap the token. An opponent has Obscura Charm. Goes attacking. Yeah. Well, discards two lands. I mean, I guess we kill the in Interceptor? It is a downgrade. We drop to eight. Opponent gets back a token, this unblockable fish. And Torals again. Well, we're finally... We're finally gonna get down Bootlegger's Stash, but does it matter? Is it just too late? Bootlegger's Stash. The problem is unblockable fish. Like, that's the issue. We can make a ton of one ones, but these unblockable fish are just gonna beat us. We need like two more turds and I, oh, we gotta find removal. We need like two turds of treasure production and we can win with Halo Fountain. Tap our token. I mean, we could just be dead here, but we definitely have to hit removal to have any shot. Omega Treasure. You can see the plan coming together. It took too long because of all of our opponent's counters, but you can see you can see how the deck could win with Halo Vow. And this is this is essentially the combo, but we're just gonna run out of time, I think. So we get to tap our lands to make treasures. Then we get to sack the treasures to make one ones. But Rafina is quite the magic card. I mean our opponent's pretty close to milling out with this deck. They have 14 cards left in their deck. We have 35. All right, so now we make the one ones. Wow, we were close. We even have the face breaker in hand. We'll see. We might die here, depending on how our opponent connives. Like they might, we needed those innkeepers. They might be able to just grow. If they hit enough non-lands, they might be able to just win. So here's the super connive. If they can discard four non-lands, the fish is lethal. Do we get one more turn? All right, opponent has four non-lands. Yeah, that does it. <laughs> oh, oh, so close, so close, so close. All right, so uh, I guess burn down the house maybe in Skyclave, Wandering Emperor, Outland Liberator. Although uh, none of this stuff lets us resolve our spells. Like that's the, that's a problem. Like the problem with Bootlegger Stash, the card is incredibly, incredibly powerful. Like over the top. But it's not easy to actually get on the battlefield. And that is, that is what we saw there. Not easy. Well, we'll do a bit of trimming. So we can fit in a bit more removal, run it like that. The problem is our opponent's a, an Esper deck, which means they theoretically are bringing in a bunch of negates and counters, which in turn is gonna make it even harder to get a bootlegger stashed down. All right. 
I guess we keep this. Uh, it doesn't do anything, but the big scores, presuming they actually resolve, could be good. I don't know about our opponent playing that Ascendancy. Obscure Ascendancy is so bad. But Esper Knive looked pretty powerful. Well, Shatter Skull Smashing, go. Yeah. Well, it would be nice to draw some early game plays. Opponent. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Land. Well, I mean, I guess that's kind of an early game play. Land on white. Go. It doesn't do anything yet, but someday. Land. Play this. Play Halo Fountain. Ship the turn. Land for our opponent. And. When am I just drawing a white source? Torals. Yeah, starts the connive and discards a Rafine. Well, it's not a white source, but we can play this on... Play this on green. Big score. Pitch is smashing, draw some cards. Like more smashings. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> a bonnet adapts. Well, we could use some creatures to go with this Halo Fountain. Bonnet, Black Manus, gets in for four. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Down to 16. Opponent passes. Well, okay, there's white mana. So play this, play Skyclave. Opponent's going to bounce the Skyclave. Knives, bounces Skyclave. Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to cash in our treasures here. Skyclave. Get rid of Torals. Pass the turn. Okay, so creature one achieved. Just kidding. Creature one dead. Opponent gets and hits us down to 12. Well, play Prosperous Innkeeper. Make a treasure. Play the land, big score. Discard the smashing, make some treasures. Draw some cards. Well, there's a stimulus package. We're slowly, maybe, making gains. We're also quickly dying. Oh, God. Rafine. Well, that's what we wanted to not see. Rafine is. Hi, yeah, yeah, is that card so good? I, went, I mean, I don't think this build is right because Esper Ascendancy is not a playable magic card, but I would not be surprised <clears throat> to see some sort of Esper deck similar to this be very good. Yeah, I think we're dead. One, two, three, four. Is there any way out of this? All right, so play the land on white. Shatter Skull Smashing. X6. Kill Rafine. Kill Interceptor. Pay the one. Then we get to attack with the Innkeeper. The opponent goes to combat attacks. So Halo Fountain, untap, make a token, gain a life, block. Opponent's got all the card styles too. Look at that mana base. This is like a, all right, opponent's gonna draw four. Well, we'll see, we get to get down Stimulus Package. Well, okay, uh, Stimulus Package. Get some treasures. Get in with the innkeeper. Pass the turn. Oh, look how many cards our opponent has in hand though. <laughs> Shake down heavy, uh-huh. Well, okay, Halo Fountain. Untap to make a token. Gain a life. Opponent's going to kill the Halo Fountain. Yeah, let's cycle this. We gotta spend a treasure, but I think it's worth it. Cycle the garden. Okay, Gallagher Eaters is not bad. It works well with Stimulus Packet. Oh, more lands, all right. Well, Gallagher Eaters. And then we get to sack the treasure to make a token, which lets us make a treasure. And play the land and pass the turn. Path of Peril. Oh, jeez. Found it. Gets in. Gets to draw a card. We draw. Devilish Fillet could be cute in the future, but we need the bootleg stash. We need the stash. We need the stash. And we need to somehow get it to resolve. Opponent. Kaido Suzuki. 
<laughs> opponent goes to combat, gets in, draws a card, and then gets to draw another card. Or make a ninja, that also is a thing. Phases out. We draw. Come on, deck. Jet Mirror's Garden, cycle that. Into Skyclave, cast it. Get rid of the shakedown heavy. This is still just like, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 so much fizzling. Our opponent playing at the timeout pace. I mean, I guess we're not that far behind. Reservoir Kraken goes to combat. Opponent just gets to draw way more cards than we do. That's kind of the, the TLDR at the moment. <laughs> and they have all the, all the remote, oh, Obscure Ascendancy doing its job of being discarded because it's bad. Oh, opponent plays a land passes. I don't play a Zika's Chariot, I guess. That is a good card. Yeah, I mean, pass the turn. No attacks. Opponent attempts. Boy, every match we played is so long in this format. Kills a ch Yeah, these, as the removal of Esper is just, wow, so good. So, so good. Yeah, Void Run and Vanishing Verse are making our life tough. Obscura Charm gets back Rafine. Yeah, all right. I do like the synergy with unblockable stuff and Rafine's pretty good. I mean, I guess we'll tap it and draw one more card, but I don't think there's any any pathway to victory now. I got a feeling maybe this is where we top deck our bootlegger stash now that it's now that it's too late to matter. But it hits us down to four. Loots, we draw. Yeah, like greeters. That's not gonna do it. Yeah, not gonna do it at all. Oh, well, that was a grindy one, that's for sure. We got to see the, the pathway towards our combo, even if we didn't get there. Against the odds time, we are mulliganing a one lander with a, ugh, all right, well, this will keep. With Halo Fountain in standard, we are trying our hardest to get the Halo Fountain win. Making some treasures, no bootlegger stash. We do got the stimulus package, which is good, and Big score could maybe help us find something. Well, Jetmere Garden, go. Swamp. Well, Overgrown Farmland, Overgrown Farmland, go. We do need to draw at least one more land. Opponent plays a Swamp. No, Priest of Oblivion. Well, land on, I guess, red. Yeah, I mean, I guess we, we might as well Skyclave. We're not doing anything else. So get rid of the Null Priest past the turn. Come on, land, come on, land, come on, land, come on, land, come on, land. Magic gods, we need a land. Opponent prowls. Oh, that's not a land, all right. Halo Fountain, I mean, Halo Fountain is one of our combo pieces. Oh, I really hope we hit our lands, because I feel like this is a matchup where we could actually maybe do it. Mono Black is not very good at killing artifacts and enchantments. That's kind of their weakness. But for any of this to matter, we got to draw another... We gotta draw another uh, another land. Opponent, Life of Tashiro Yumazawa. Goes to combat, attacks, no blocks. Down to 17. Life of Tashiro Yumazawa number two. All right, lander bust, lander bust. Oh boy, all right, Prosperous Innkeeper. That is not a land, but it'll get us there eventually. Opponent gets to kill the innkeeper and pump something. Opponent gets in for a bunch. Would still like to draw some lands. Opponent, I twitch. Passes, not a land. Well, a Zika's chariot. See if this can keep us alive. Oh no. Oh no, I feel like this is the matchup. This is the matchup where we can do it, but oh, magic gods, why? So opponent gets to flip into two more sagas. We'll see if this is a super fragile position, just cause, we, boy, we cannot hit a land drop. Goes to combat, big attack. Yeah, we'll block and block, take one. I think we're too far behind though. We're just, we're still on three lands. We can't cast anything. Oh, uh, we were on the mulligan. Yeah, I mean, either we draw an untap land or we're, we're just dying to the board. Those Sakas did some work here. No Priest of Oblivion. All right, well, uh, 
sometimes you don't draw the land. <laughs> TLDR, sometimes you don't draw the land. Well, we'll bring in a touch more removal. We'll go down two innkeepers. We'll go down the bank busters. One face breaker. We need to keep a vehicle to tap our creatures, so we can't really cut the chariot. You know what? I think we're going down the devilish valet back up in this one. All right, all right, all right. Let's just let's just hit our lands. Let's just hit our lands and cast our stuff. This is finally a matchup where our opponent can't really, I don't think, interact with our combo pieces. All right, no green mana, but we we got two lands. That's that's a start. That's a start. I mean, we got the stimulus package. We maybe have some ways to make some treasures. Hopefully, we draw lands. <laughs> all right, shatter skull smashing tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a swamp. Valentin. Not a land. Well, play a Jano. Pass the turn. Land. Blood Sky Berserker. Well, we'll just kill that. All right, Magic Gods. This would be a wonderful, wonderful turn for us to draw land. About it. Gets it, it says. Gallagher Eaters. Opponent plays a swamp. Goes to combat, hits us. Down to 18. No Priest of Oblivion. I twitch. Gala greeters. Us is so depressing. Oh no. Oh, Life of Toshiro Yumazawa. Yeah, I mean, we just, we, we don't have the ability to play anything because we can't draw land. Oh, uh, like I said, I'm mostly disappointed because this is, this feels like the perfect matchup for us to do our thing. Our deck is just not cooperating. The magic gods. We draw a red source, hooray, past the turn. Opponent draws a card. Untaps, pumps, gets in. Down to 12. Plays a land. Well, play this on white. Pass the turn. Opponent flips. I mean, we'll see. Maybe... Maybe this burn down the house can stabilize us. Another saga. I mean, that's kind of what we're counting on. We'll see. Opponent gets it, hits us. Down to eight. Not a very high life total. Well, big score. Discard Gallagher Eaters. Burn down the house. I assume this lets our opponent get a mascot exhibition. And I'm not sure if we can beat a mascot exhibition. Not at eight with a saga. Okay, just gets a pump spell. Okay. So opponent gets a gain. Of, well, maybe. Maybe we can get back into this. It's not impossible. Opponent land. Valentin. Gonna grow it. Well, play Gallagher Eaters. Gallagher Eaters. Make a treasure. Shatter Skull Smashing. Pass the turn. Opponent flips. Hits us down to three, or down to five. All right, has removal for Gallagher Eaters. Makes a token. Passes. Halo Fountain. <laughs> well, okay. Stimulus package. Make some treasures. Professional face breaker. Make a treasure. Pass the turn. Okay, Berserker. Eye Twitch. Okay, okay. We might have stabilized. Opponent attacks with everything. So we get to sack this. Make a treasure. Sack this. Put a counter on Gallagher Eaters. Sack this. Gain to life. Yeah, we gotta make we gotta make all the tokens. Alright, so block, block. Block, 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 block. So we do a bunch of killing. We untap. 
One, two, one, two, three, four. Shatter Skull Smashing. I don't think we want to kill the Eye Twitch yet. Let's just kill the Berserker. Kill the Berserker. This lets us get in. Oh, an opponent scoops it up. Ah, we stabilized after a really slow start, but, but our opponent scooped. So maybe we don't actually get, even if we win, I don't know if we're gonna get to see it. If our opponent scooped at 38 life, <laughs> I assume once our deck starts go doing its thing. Well, the good news is, wow, have we been struggling to hit our land drops and we still managed to stabilize. Let's just get a nice smooth, just a nice smooth draw. A nice smooth draw, lands, stimulus package, halo fountain, bootlegger stash, combo off. It's possible, it's a thing. It's a thing that can happen. I got faith, I got the faith. All right, opponents on the play. Let's see what this hand looks like. Okay, I like this hand. Lands are a little bit tapped, but otherwise it seems reasonable. We got three lands, we got some removal, we got some treasures. All right, there's a Valentin. Well, tap land, go. Opponent. Untap land for innkeeper would be nice. Berserker. Opponent gets in for one. Untap land. Not quite. All right, well, sundown pass, go. All right, Saga gets in, hits us. Wow, okay. Does a little pump in. Well, we will play the land. We will Skyclave. Get rid of the Berserker. Could still use another land. We always make it an adventure with these these land situations. Gets and hits us. Down to 10. Well, Prosperous Innkeeper. And get in for two. Pass the turn. So opponent gets to flip the Saga. Attacks. Yeah, let's full surge it. Not sacking our desperately needed treasure. They could have this weird plus one, plus one counter spell, I guess. Now, opponent's really thinking on this. All right, opponent's gonna save it. Hit us down to seven. Going to kill the innkeeper. Well, that's not ideal. Boy, we are still mana screwed. All right, Ezekiel's chariot. This is getting a, a smidge ridiculous with our inability to just hit lands about our adapts. We do have 24 lands in the deck, so it's not like we're ultra greedy or something. Opponent, another saga. Down to six. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks. Well, I mean, we gotta do it. Block and block. Can we draw a land? A land would be sweet. A land would be sweet. There's an eye twitch. Okay, we do draw a land, which is good. So play the land on white. All right, well, one, two, through the chariot. Go attacking. Copy the cat. Opponent takes it. Stimulus package. Pass the turn. Get drained down to five, not a high life total. And opponent scoops it up. We won, I guess. We won. That's not what we, I mean, that's uh, that's not what we're here to do. We're not here just to beat Mono Black by them scooping at 30 life, but I, I guess we'll take it. Sweet-ish. Against the odds time, we are playing a top tier, top tier Naya ramp, apparently. <laughs> we're trying to win with Halo Fountain, but this end, Innkeeper into Ezekiel's Chariot feels dirty. Ezekiel's Chariot's on the deck so we can tap our creatures. It's, it's a combo with Halo Fountain. We're not just dirty, dirty Chariot players, but man, what can you, what can you do? Evolving Wilds. Sadly, I, <sighs> Evolving Wilds is gonna rotate, right? Now that we got these new not Evolving Wilds fetches. What am I gonna say then? Cabretti Courtyard, that just doesn't, doesn't have the same ring. Evolving Wilds, opponent. What do you got, Micah? What do you got? Forest, snow covered variety. Treasure token so busted. Well, I think we're probably gonna still play the chariot. We can chariot into stimulus package and hope we find the rest of our combo piece. Like we're off to a good start. Opponent on the clock. Tick tock, Micah. I don't know if these sleeves are cool because they do the jello thing or if they annoy me because they do the jello thing. It'd be cool if they played different notes like a piano. We will play this on white. Get in with the innkeeper. I think our opponent might have 
timed out Azika's chariot. Make some cats gain some life, pass some turns. Your go, Micah. I just want to actually see the Halo Fountain kill once. One time. Alright, opponent's still playing. Oh, venturing into dungeons, eh? Well, uh, Beseju through the chariot and stimulus package. You know what? We're going to give him some free damage. <laughs> we want to copy the treasures more than we want to copy cats. Remember the goal. Win with Halo Fountain, not win with Dirty Azika's Chariot. Abona blocks. Well, uh, yeah. Opponents, new no covered for us. Oh, so opponents like a, a Death Touch deck, apparently. All of their creatures so far have had Death Touch. A Blizzard Brawl. Sure. Abona passes. So we draw a land. Well, um, land on red. Skyclave Apparition. Get rid of the Nighthawk Scavenger, hit you for three. All right, so we need Bootlegger, Sash, and Halo Fountain. Those are the, those are the missing pieces for the combo. Sarah, all right, so they're definitely a Death Touch deck. Opponent passes. Overgrown Farmland. Yeah, we're not even gonna run out the Chariot at the moment. <laughs> Opponent, I feel like it wins too quickly. Lightfoot Rogue, might get Death Touch. Oh, come on now. All right, opponent. Well, we're going to kill the Seraph. Oh, and we lose the chariot. Opponent passes. Boot like your stash. All right, a little bit more, a uh, little more stimmy. I don't pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Face breaker? We take a face breaker. All right, going to kill the Skyclave. Get back to the dork. Text the clue to draw a card. Also sure. I don't think there's any reason to make tokens until we have to. So I think we just, I think we just wait. I mean, unless you roll a 20, four. Yeah, I mean, make a one, one, block with a one, one, kill the dork. Ha ha, okay. Okay, bootlegger stash. We need the fountain. We need the halo fountain. We need the halo fountain. That's a final piece. We're so close. Come on. I just want to see. I want to know that it can happen. I want to actually physically see halo fountain trigger. Egon. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Well, our one ones can handle that. Opponent passes. Gets it. No blocks. Down to twenty one. Big score. Well, all right. We'll just make a few treasures. Bullet like your stash is so absurd. Card is so absurd. Uh, all right, treasures for days. I don't think we're gonna turn them into creatures though until we need to. Turning them into creatures might accidentally kill our opponent without Halo Fountain. Opponent. Exile some guards, sure. All right, more uh, dice rolling rogues. Opponent goes attacking. Well, he will block the Egon. Big Score's not bad. Big Score can discard a non-Halo Fountain card to dig for Halo Fountain. All right, that's a non-Halo Fountain card. Discard it. All right, play an Innkeeper. <laughs> Make a treasure, gain some life. That's the turn. I mean, we are at no risk of dying. I think we're gonna set auto stack triggers here. I usually play with it off, but I don't wanna keep clicking these innkeepers a million times. About it, land. And, uh, well, let's gain a little bit of life. Mega 1-1. One, one. Mega 1-1. One, one. Mega 1-1. One, one. Make a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> All right, sure, good enough. Yeah, we lose an innkeeper. Goose attacking, do you roll a 20? No, just a 16. Uh, So we'll just block this thing. Drop to 20. 
We could be playing this much more aggressively, but I really want to get the Halo found. No, 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 not crew. No, no, no. Uh, we just want to draw a card. And play the land and pass the turn. I'm starting to feel bad again. Like, we should be being more aggressive. Because we probably, I mean, I think we could just be murdering our opponent here if we if we went full full out with these tokens in Stimulus Package. Opponent. Eee, Bobby Wilds. And no covered force goes to combat. He has hits us. Sure. Make a token. Make a token. Make a token. Jump with a token. Go to 17. Draw Halo Fountain. Perhaps. All right. Balagad Recovery gets back inscription. All right. That's just a land. So play the land. Draw a card. Pass the Oh, best turn. About it. I mean, at this point, I think we're a little unlucky. No Halo. We're 22 cards deep in No Halo Fountain. Base Breaker probably gets us there. Yep. Sure, sure. Kill some stuff. Goes to combat. Hits us. <laughs> Down to eight. Well, all right. Let's make some treasures. We have so many tra- We have so much treasure. But no Halo Fountain yet. Untap. Gala Greeters. I don't play it. Well, we gotta make one token now. Because we get a free token. Pass the turn. This Egon's gonna go away eventually. Watch our opponent drop Meat Hook Masker. If our opponent has Meat Hook Masker, that would, that would be an issue. That's probably a reason to not do what we're doing. Oh my god, Nighthawk Scavenger. All right, that's also an issue. Opponent goes attacking. 20, 17. Uh, well, this is gonna make it trickier. Make a token, get a treasure. Make a token. Gain two life. Make a bunch of treasures. Uh, make a token. Put a counter on Gala Greeters. Block, block, block. Well, we get an extra draw. Do we find it? Draw a card. Big score. Okay, that's that's a redraw or two. Oh, I don't want to discard that. Ah! All right, well, uh, make a treasure. We're going to wait a turn. We're going to wait one more turn. And then we can big score into the Halo Fountain. And then we can finally get the Halo Fountain win. Gain two life. Treasure. Counter. Pass the turn. About it untaps. Egon can stick around one more turn. Oh, if we don't find this, I'm going to be so disappointed. Pwn it. Gets in, gets in, gets in. All right, back to our little synergy. Well, sack this, make a treasure. Sack the treasure. Gain some life. This almost feels a little like cheating because we definitely could have made like a very lethal amount of tokens. And then we'll crew. And block and block. <laughs> Drop to eight. Make some treasures. Throw to death. All right. Well, treasure time. If we don't find a halo fountain off this, I'm going to cry. I am going to cry. We get to go five more cards deep. That would mean there are zero copies in the top half of our library. We definitely have enough creatures. Easily. All right. Sure. Throwing a death. Opponent passes. Bootlegger stash. Well, big score. Discard the stash. Big score. Discard Jetmere's Garden. 
there it is there it is there it is okay so 9 10 11 so we need to make a couple more creatures i think we finally we finally did it we had to not be as aggressive as we could have been uh yeah Sure, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we need one more, 16. Okay, so we make our tokens. Bank Buster lets us tap everything. So we tap that. We tap these. Oh, can we just tap everything all at once? Oh, we can. Crew them up, Halo Valid. Activate it. Oh, we did it. We did it. Sort of. <laughs> we did it. We did it. 13, 14, 15. Yes. Oh! <laughs> well. <laughs> So what do we learn this week about Halo Fountain in Streets of New Capenna Standard? And record-wise, this was a weird one. I think I played like 15 matches with the deck. So essentially what happened is the deck worked fine. And I think we went like three and two in our first five matches or something like that. Probably around 50% win rate overall, discounting a couple of matches that I intentionally just scooped right away when I played Esper Control like five times in a row and didn't feel like playing it uh, the third and fourth and fifth time. Uh, but so the record was fine. The problem is winning with Halo Fountain itself proved to be really tricky. We had a few games where we would have won with Halo Fountain if the game had continued a couple turns, but our opponent scooped, which is like pseudo Halo Fountain wins, but I want to actually see it happen. I want to see the Halo Fountain go in the stack. So after playing a bunch of ranked games, I was like, all right, I'm just going to go in on the rank queue and I'm just going to play until it happens. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care if I win or I lose. I just want to see this happen. And eventually we did manage to pull it off. Uh, it took some suboptimal plays, which I always feel weird about but we had to like not attack with our tokens for a couple of turns or not turn our treasures into tokens for a couple of turns because we could have just made like 31 ones and beaten our opponent down but we waited a little bit to find the halo fountain and win which i don't know it feels awkward to do that disrespectful i guess to our opponent but when you're trying to win with halo fountain you gotta do what you gotta do and really <sighs> That illuminates the problem with Halo Fountain. I actually kind of hate the term win more. Uh, people throw that around a lot. Oh, that's a win more card. That's a win more card. I want to win more. I like winning more. That's kind of the whole foundation of against the odds. However, even for me, Halo Fountain ended up being a little bit win more because here's the two things that happen. Well, actually, I guess there's four things. One is we lose. That happens about half the time. One is we just win randomly with random creatures and vehicles and so forth, which happens on occasion. Then we have games where we would win with Halo Fountain, but before we could get to the point of actually winning, our opponent would scoop. The other thing that can happen is we can get to the point of winning with other stuff, like especially stimulus package tokens with bootlegger stash, but we get in this weird position where it's like, okay, we could just sack all of our treasures, make 31 ones, beat our opponent down, but we really wanna win with Halo Fountain, so do we wait even though we could win, which feels really weird, and that's where the win moreness of Halo Fountain comes in, really, it's tough to have a situation in a game of Magic where you have 15 creatures on the battlefield and you haven't already won the game. Like, it's really, really tricky. And we ran into that multiple times where it's like, oh, do we keep going? Do we just win with tokens? Do we wait until we draw the Halo Fountain? So that is the weirdness of the card. The good news is Halo Fountain is kind of sweet in the early game. We did get some value untapping creatures and drawing cards and making tokens. Also got to see the backup Devilish Valet Kill, which was spectacular. And there's a lot of cool synergies in the deck, like Gallagher Stimulus Package, being able to like sack a treasure token to Stimulus Package to make a 1-1 to trigger Gallagher Eaters to make another treasure to sack the treasure to make another 1-1 to trigger Gallagher Eaters to gain some life or put a counter on itself. That's kind of a neat little synergy where we're getting a free token each turn. And I gotta say the treasure package 
Good Lord, it's really powerful once it gets going. Like, Stimulus Package really impressed me. Bootlegger Stash, it's a lot of mana. Sometimes it doesn't get on the battlefield, but once it's on the battlefield, if you have some synergies for it, it is so insane. So even though winning with Halo Fountain itself proved to be tricky, and it doesn't seem like a, that realistic of a plan for Standard. It does seem like a sweet way to win in a Commander game. It seems much more realistic, because in Commander, remember, you got three opponents. So winning the game has way more value when you would have to take out three opponents opponents with 40 life than it is in a 1v1 game where you're starting with 20 life where 15 tokens probably going to win anyway. So I think it's this very sweet commander card. It's definitely very win Mori in standard, but we did pull it off and we got to see all these really sweet synergies. So even though I don't really expect Halo Fountain itself to be like a top tier deck or even a real deck in standard, I do think that all these sweet treasure synergies, stimulus package, big score, professional face breaker, bootlegger, sash, Gallag readers, all those cards together, that is a really strong package. So even though Halo Fountain probably won't be involved in like the competitive builds, I do think that the treasure package could actually be really strong in standard because those cards were really impressive. But anyway, that's been Halo Fountain. That's been our Gets the Odds for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon.